Hello there, this is Out Motorsports. My name is Jake and this is the 2021 Acura TLX Type S. Very excited to spend some time with us today. This is just a quick first drive impression. We're spending the day with a whole bunch of cars today and this is one I picked out of the lineup to get some impressions on. If you recall, if you've been following the channel for a while, we had a 2021 Acura TLX Advance earlier this year that was with the two liter turbocharged four. So really excited to have more or less the same car, but amped up a little bit with the V6 with the turbocharger and all the extra goodies you get by having this be the Type S version of this car. So let's take a quick look around and then we'll get behind the wheel and see how it is to drive. All right, so looking at this 2021 TLX Type S, obviously it's the same body as the regular TLX, but it's turned up a little bit. You've got unique wheels, you've got bigger brake calipers with a bigger rotor on the front here. You've got these red calipers. Kind of a smaller caliper at the rear, but that's okay. The fronts do most of the work anyway. And some really big exhaust pipes back here. And there is an active exhaust on this car. So based on the drive mode you're in, especially in Sport Plus, kind of turns things up. You've got a little trunk spoiler right along here. And then moving up to the front here, you've got, of course, the star of the show, which is a three liter turbocharged V6 that is exclusive to the Acura brand. This is not a J35 that you would find in a Pilot or an Odyssey or anything like that. So this is a single turbo twin scroll turbo and this motor makes 355 horsepower and 354 pound feet of torque. That is paired to the now kind of standard Acura corporate 10 speed automatic. And if we look inside here, you've got some nice seats. These are similar in style to the ones of the regular TLX, but I believe they are a little more aggressive. Obviously you've got a different interior design with some red stitching here, different steering wheel design with some perforated leather and red stitching on the inset. And then looking at the gauge cluster, if you can see that there, you've got some neat gauges that are silver backgrounds with red backlighting. Really cool, it's a nod if I recall correctly to things like the RSX of the early to mid 2000s. And then looking over here, you've got your standard TLX center stack with the big infotainment screen paired to ELS audio, which is phenomenal. And then you've got your climate controls. You've got this drive mode selector, which if you twist and hold, gives you a special sport plus mode that actually changes the shift maps to be uh, up to 30 or 40% quicker than you would get in any other drive mode, according to Acura. So pretty neat there. So with all that, let's get behind the wheel and see how this thing is to drive. All right, so let's talk about driving this 2021 Acura TLX Type S. So first of all, I had a 2021 non-Type S version of the TLX uh, at the very start of this calendar year, and I really liked it. I thought for most people it was a very good, um, you know, sporty enough sort of vehicle that was not, uh, you know, not excessive in any way, but just a really good handling, good driving, largish sedan. And as far as like general driving impressions of, of this TLX Type S, it's the same as the, the non-Type S in certain key regards, i.e. the body, the, the seating position, all that. It's good for tall people. You've got great visibility. It's a long hood. The proportions are really long, but you've got these nice little humps on either side that let you know where the corners of the car are. So really appreciate that. And uh, in the, the regular TLX video, I've talked about the ELS audio and it's pretty fantastic um, if you feed it the right material. But let's get on a little bit of a twisty road and see how this thing handles. All right, so we're losing the person in front of me, so I'm just gonna put my foot down through this corner here. The nice thing with this car and the regular TLX, they both have the super handling all wheel drive, which basically is always engaged. It's not a slipping grip system and it overdrives the back axle and it can overdrive one wheel. So it torque vectors, it sends power you know, to the rear axle and then left to right based on how you're cornering. And it really makes this car pivot. You know, these are big sweeping curves I'm driving right now, but if you, if you get it on some tighter stuff, it really helps rotate out of a corner. And it's nice, you know, especially if you get something uh, that's tighter where you would be exiting and just put your foot hard down uh, you know, a typical front wheel drive car or a slip and grip system would want to plow more and a system like this that can torque vector uh, really kind of, you know, Acura will tell you proactively, um, proactively kind of has everything ready to go to help you get out of that corner with a little more agility and grace. So 
again, will come up on a corner here and just stand on it. And it's just, I mean, it's nicely balanced, easy to drive relatively quickly. Obviously this is just kind of a quick first drive impression sort of deal, but uh, generally pretty positive here. And I like the engine sound as well. You've got the active exhaust, um, the engine sound with the, uh, the valves open all the way is uh, really quite good. All right, so let's go through this roundabout and same deal. You know, this is kind of more how a typical driver would, would drive this car where you're coming right through here. Okay, cut me off, Hyundai, that's fine. That's all fine. So then coming even on the exit here, you feel it want to just push the rear just a little bit so you won't, uh, you won't plow through it. So really, uh, really appreciate how the handling is set up on this thing. So overall, um, really fun. I, you know, I enjoyed the regular TLX um, quite a bit when I had that. So it's just nice that everything I thought the Type S would be, it seems to be at least on first glance. I don't think this is too stiff anywhere. I think it's pretty appropriately stiff in Sport Plus mode. And then obviously you can turn it down to normal for something a little more dialed back. But generally, you know, this is pretty great here for what it is. But generally, you know, this is this is nice. Um, it's it's everything about the regular TLX turned up a little bit more for the sake of those of us that like to drive. And you know, good handling, torque vectoring out of the uh, the super handling all wheel drive. It's got the right amount of power and torque to take it a little bit away from being a momentum car and more toward being something with enough power and torque to, to feel like you can have a little bit more fun with it. So if you if you don't care so much, the regular TLX is a great option, but if you do like a little bit of performance, a little bit of extra spice in your daily driver, I think this could be a pretty good option to consider. So that's it for this 2021 Acura TLX Type S. Thank you so much for coming along. As always, please be sure to subscribe right here on YouTube. Give us a follow on Facebook and Instagram, and check us out at outmotorsports.com. Till next time, please stay safe, be well, and we will see you again soon.